Hi there and welcome back to Stellaris. <laughs> yeah, we're in Snail Wars. We want to make the galaxy safe again. To do this we have started a, a war against the wall again. But this time we have started it with actually reasonable war goals. <coughs> like making them seed planets and stuff. Already destroyed their minuscule fleets. <coughs> we're also up against the League of Rainbow Light. And, yeah, um, they are also, as we have seen afterwards, in a long ongoing war against the Umpani coalition, so their fleets are also depleted. Also, we have seen something here, the naval capacity, hmm, we cannot get it fully, so, hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we should just stop the Grand Fleet, right? I mean, it costs a lot of influence. <laughs> and I mean, it's improving ship repair speed, upgrade cost, but all the influence, look, it's... Yeah, it's still pretty good, so... There is that, there is that. <laughs> we could go share the burden, but we don't have any slaves. We've killed them all. Uh, we have... Mm, um, saved we have saved our people from the strange species that are predators <laughs> so um <coughs> nothing else here I mean, we're encouraging free thought because we have uh, so few ethics divergence that it doesn't really matter <laughs> and yeah. So, we're gaining a lot of influence. Um, it's our goal to find out in, in this episode what to do with all this influence. I mean, the, the most straightforward thing is leaders, right? But we have enough leaders. I mean, we could get a better general, maybe. Mm, let's see. We could get an invader that is a little younger. We could get a butcher. <laughs> It is also pretty young. That would be something, so we would dismiss Hong Kong. And get someone newer, better. That's probably something we would do. I mean, he's old enough to, to uh, go into retirement. And then we would take Guy Hebert, the butcher. Only 34, unexperienced, but still. <laughs> you have Stephen Schubert here. He's, he's still good for anything and everything. We've got our scientists. Uh, very old one, Rahul Sundaram. Mm, but we have no geniuses that we could use to replace. Basil Chaffin, who will probably die soon, as will... Guotan. Oh no, Guotan will not die in a long time. But he's not especially good, so we could replace him. If there's an intellectual, that is. But there is none, so um, we won't take that. So that's something we could use all the influence we have for. And we'll probably just do that. I mean... Um, Army damage 10%. Because he's an armchair commander, he's really not good. So, uh, Hong Kong can return to his armchair. And we're recruiting Guy Heber. Let's put him to the transport fleet. So where do we want the, the transport fleet to head to? Our fourth strike force here, that's the Alliance fleet and the protectors of the inner shell too. We'll fly over here to Escola and, and take some planets. Escola is one of the war goals too. And um, yeah. Let's see, let's see. This is our rally point. Everything is good so far. 
I mean, we should be able or we should upgrade. Let's look at the ship designer. Or have we upgraded already? I think I remember something. Let's see. Is everything at the best? No, it is not. Got impulse thrusters now. Subspace sensors, yeah. I mean, that's something. So let's have a look at the research. What is coming here? The Tachyon sensors will be there in one month. Well, let's wait for the Tachyon sensors. Whoa, <laughs> so many <laughs> open borders. What's going on? Seems like they've forgotten about our genocide ability. Oh, they are just hating on uh, the League of Rainbow Light. Or maybe the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's also pretty possible. So let's see, let's find out. We've got a pretty good plan. Leader enhancements, selected lineages. Hmm. <laughs> that will be good as well. In the seven months, though. Uh, we'll have enough use of our guys now. Complete the research of Tachyon sensors. Survey speed is a little better. And we can see ships a little bit uh, earlier. We've got, got better tracking. Advanced sensors that rely on rotating Tachyon beams to detect ship movements even at extreme distances. Very nice. And uh, now... The big question, what would make the galaxy most safe, um, or most improved? I mean, we're going to research something about the AI, so self-aware colony ships would be something. We don't really need it, though. We've got the flash coolant, but yeah, plasma throwers are also something. They are unlocking a line of... Um, a line of attacking weapons that is very good if you want to mix it in. And we have the particle lens, but we don't have a possibility to mount it somewhere. We don't have the X factor. The focused arc emitters is extremely good, so we wouldn't probably go for the particle lens, we would just go for the focused arc emitters. And we have predictive algorithms for more point defense. That would be good, but... Um, I don't know. I think we're just going for the quick self-aware colony ships, just to get it out of the way. Uh, let's also see we have... Uh, we have Ladius Hertzfeld. Five star expertise field manipulation. So, if we would have something with field manipulation, maybe take that, but no. So, we're going for self aware colony ships. We also have the research agreement on that. And uh, for the new planned colony here in the Aswiri system, that might be helpful just a little bit. Also, we want to. Uh, research more of Nautilon's mind, aka the AI, because we believe that all um, research is basically something religious, because all of the technology comes from our god Nautilon. So this is basically, <laughs> if you want so, religious uh, research. So now we have the Tachyon sensors. Let's actually upgrade all of our ships. Uh, I think we have the impulse thrusters here now. And we have the new Tachyon sensors. Ooh, pretty good, eh? Do we have... Uh, yeah, we have zero-point reactors now, too. Look at that. 25. Could we? No, <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, but we could maybe. But these are giving 105 hit points. 
Ah. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll probably just put them in and not go for another these shields. The afterburners are pretty good, I think, for uh, the Kovets. Should be a good thing to have. So that's the shell class. Um, let's look at the shields. Shields are still good. Yeah, everything's nice. Look at the torpedoes. I forgot the torpedoes. I, th I think we might have an up. No, we don't have an upgrade yet there. But we have better missiles. We have the Marauder missiles now. Um, on the other hand, we could go for an interceptor. Hmm. Shield penetration. They're not um, destroying shields. I mean, here we have, we would have two point nine damage, and the armor torpedoes. Ah, oh, they are just so much better in terms of damage. Yeah, we still have to do that. But putting in the marauder missiles and. Uh, do we have better afterburners? Are there better afterburners? Not, not really. Not yet. So we have finished the shell class. And then the, we have the duck snail class. The good old duck snail class. Let's see. Mm, we still have a good gamma laser. Let's compare. Large gamma laser. 12. 6. <laughs> no. We're not going for the disruptors. Let's see here. Yeah, we, we could go for the Marauder missiles. But this is our signature weapon, the, the laser. So we're going for the laser here. And the gunship stern. Hmm. We would like to have a similar range. Ignores armor plus shield damage. We could replace it with a gorse cannon. Which is just better. Or we could go for a large autocannon. Let's see. What what is the comparison? Lower range, but similar more similar. Mm, no. Sixty range. Nah. Ripper autocannon. A ripper autocannon is actually good. And this is still a close combat ship, so... It's so-so. I mean, we don't need the Gorse Cannon. We can go for the Ripper one. It's also a little bit better. 7 damage. 6 damage. Yeah, just better overall values. But a very low range, though. Hmm. Maybe we'll just go for the Gorse. Seven. Yeah, let's go for the Gorse cannon here. And we can replace the reactors now. And we still have plus two. That's pretty good. We could, which means we can uh, put in another another armor really not bad. Or can we? Let's see. Better sensors, so we can put in another armor. Uh, better thrusters. No, we can't definitely, can definitely not put in another armor. But it's all okay. A little bit more power than we need, but that's pretty okay, as I said. We have a better weapon and everything, so... Then we go to the cruiser, guard or shell cruiser. Um, we still don't have the possibility to uh, build good cruisers. I think we're just going for... Yeah, we could mix it up here a little bit. We could mix in also the, um, the gorse cannons for their similar range. We we have afterburners. We have regenerative hull tissue, which is pretty good here, and uh, we'll replace these. 
zero point reactors. Wow, look at that. Now we have 60 plus. Hmm. Now what we need, I think. Do we need this? And how much of the hyper shields do we have now? Hyper shields one is okay. What do they need? They need 25 power. We could definitely go for two more. Shields, hyper shields, that is. So that's pretty good. And maybe we could go for the shield capacitor. But that needs 20 power. No, I think we're going for the regenerative hull tissue for now. Would it bring us more? I don't know. I mean, this is monthly hull regeneration, which is pretty practical. Other ones are like combat by combat improvements. Hmm, it's hard to tell. I think combat by combat improvements are probably um, better. So what if we put in a shield generator? I mean, we would need afterburners to get there quickly because we don't have the high range. Is there is there something? No, you just have these two things to go for. Hmm. Shield capacitor. Could go for another of these things. And then we would have plus 50, which would mean could go for even more hyper shields. Um, wait. Plus 50 would mean even more hyper shields. Could replace these and go for even more shield regeneration. That would be a pretty good shield regeneration, right? Um, hmm. Combat speed is good, but they are big ships. So we would have 100% shield regeneration. The tachyon sensors, the impulse thrusters. Yeah, I mean, that's probably better overall, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's try this build out, the Gardo shell. Look back. Yeah, I'm making pretty extreme builds here. And the battleship. Now we'll improve, first we'll improve all our zero point reactors. Now we have plus 100. Which would mean we could go for more hyper shields even. 10 of 2,400, 10% is uh, 240. How much is a large, large hyper shield? 420, I think. Yeah, so that's better. But now we will we, we'll have to adapt. still have uh, the gamma lasers, our signature weapons. Now we have five missing. Oh, that's ironic. Hmm. We need to get rid of one of these again. And just go for one Durasteel, one more Durasteel armor. 
Mm -hmm. I think we only have uh, large utility slots. Yeah, so we need to go like this. We could maybe go for other other weapons than lasers with a higher range. What would we, would be good here? They have 12 damage. Also 12, but 90 range. 70 compared to 90, that's a pretty big deal. We have the Gauss Cannon, who has 85 range. And the Ripper, 60 range. 85 range is pretty good for an overall weapon. Twelve damage, fourteen damage. Yeah, it's better than the missiles. But they are very good uh, for that tracking thing, so if 90, we have 85, we might mix in some of the missiles. Just to to give you a little bit more variation in this uh, long range thing, it's not the Nautilon's race class anymore. We'll call it the Nautilon's power class. As it gives a lot of improvements to us. Like a higher range, better damage. It's really a good, good improvement. And we'll scrap the Nautilon's race class. I mean, we have the Gardo shell class for lasers. We have some lasers mixed in everywhere. This needs to go for now. I'll delete the design. And Nautilon's power here. Now let's have a look. How much do we need? Five thousand. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to we need to wait a little bit, which is okay. So um, I'd say thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you. Next episode, we'll wait for 5,000 minerals and then upgrade our ships. It will be a pretty big thing. I mean, while we're waiting, we might develop something else that improves us. <laughs> uh, we might just fly around uh, with uh, protectors of the inner shell and Stefan Schubert now and go to Escola and take that system and we'll also we could also try to analyze that system here i think that would be good as well so stay tuned for that happy gaming to you and see you in the next episode let's make the galaxy safe again <laughs>